Hello and welcome to C3 Stingray and my complete interior replacement videos. There are actually five videos all together and this is part two where we're going to take out the insulation and replace it with sound deadening heat shield mat. Now there's five videos all together. It's like tearing everything out completely and putting it all back in. So you need to subscribe to the channel and like it and check out my playlist which has all these videos together including a video on putting the headliner in. So Let's not mess around, let's just jump right into part two of my complete interior Corvette replacement. At this point you got to decide whether you're going to keep the insulation you have or replace it. I decided to replace mine because it was deteriorated, it was wet in some spots, the passenger side was really bad. So I pulled the majority of it out. I left a couple pieces in, the one behind the seat and over those compartment doors, but then I went on to Amazon and bought this sound deadening mat and heat shield for $36. It comes with a little roller and these mats, as you can see, they have a thing on the back where you peel off and they're sticky. You need to make sure you know where you want to put this before you peel the backing off because this stuff sticks. And if you stick it down and decide, oh, I didn't want it here and try to peel it up, it is going to destroy it. You cannot stick it down and peel it up and move it. It's Once it's down, it's down. And you don't want to stick it against itself. I accidentally touched one on a corner one time and, I mean, it's just, it's destructive. Once it sticks to something, it's going to destroy itself and anything it's attached to. So, make sure you know where you want to go with it before you peel that backing off and as you can see it comes with a little roller too you can kind of roll it out. I'm on the driver's side here and there's that, that plastic channel that runs down the side there with the wiring in it so I'm taking those screws out and kind of getting that piece out of the way so I can put that shield underneath it. I will say about the shield that after I had it in, you know obviously I've been driving the car around and I've, this is all done now you're seeing the video but it's all done, it's been done for a while, and I've driven it around. I cannot tell any difference between the way it was and the way it is now with this, and as far as the sound being any louder, for it being any warmer inside the car, it feels exactly the same. I can't tell any difference. So I guess this stuff did the job. And it's a cheaper way to go, because if you look around, this stuff can get really expensive. You can spend a ton of money. I mean, if your insulation's good, I'd suggest just keeping it, and then you can save yourself a lot more work and money by just reutilizing what you have, but mine was just too far gone. So, as I said, I replace, I'm replacing the majority of it with this. There's a foam piece that's behind the seats, I left that in, and then those two pieces over the compartment doors, which I left in. And here's the driver's side done. I'm not going to show you putting all of it in because it's obviously the same thing. You just kind of cut and shape it as you go. Now here's a shot of everything being done. You can see what I covered and what I left in. And I think it turned out pretty good. And you know, after you know, putting the carbon in and everything in and driving in, it it's it's good stuff. Works really well, and you know, it cost me 36 bucks, you know, plus tax and shipping. I don't think there was any shipping, and that was free. So you know, for under 40 dollars, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Just like I said, make sure you know where you want to put it before you peel that backing off, because once you stick it down, it is down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video is a lot longer. In the next video, we take the carpet off and replace it on the door panels, the knee bolsters, those side panels on that center console, and the entire back hatch. So it's pretty involved. So you need to subscribe and like the channel and check out that playlist on the whole interior series. And if you need any new or used C3, C4, C5 Corvette parts, go to my website at c3stingray.com. And I guess that is it. I will see you on the road.